Albert Einstein, the genius behind the theory of relativity, was once asked to become the president of a country. In 1952, Israel's first president, Chaim Weizmann, passed away, leaving the young nation in need of a successor. The invitation extended to Einstein was more than just a symbolic gesture, it was a genuine offer, reflecting the profound respect Israelis had for his intellect and moral authority. Imagine the world-renowned physicist, known for his wild hair and thought experiments, suddenly thrust into the political spotlight. But why Einstein? Israel, a nation founded on the principles of innovation and intellect, saw in him a leader who embodied those very ideals. His Jewish heritage and global influence made him an attractive candidate to guide the fledgling state through its formative years. Yet, despite the prestige and honor, Einstein politely declined. In a heartfelt letter, he expressed deep emotional ties to the Jewish people but humbly acknowledged his lack of experience and natural aptitude for dealing with people. I am deeply moved by the offer, he wrote, but I am not suited for such a position. His refusal was not out of disinterest but rather an honest self-assessment of his capabilities. This unexpected intersection of science and politics highlights the multifaceted nature of Einstein's legacy. Though he never governed a nation, his contributions to science and humanity remain unparalleled. Einstein's story reminds us that influence comes in many forms, and leadership isn't only about holding a title but making a lasting impact through one's life work.